welcome back to Star Soaps channel. How are you today? I'm doing good. I changed my hair again and now it's more purple and blue. Squee! Today I'm going to be making a yummy sugar scrub in Sweet Saigon. It's a remake so come along with me and I'll show you how I make it. Squee! So this recipe I first got wind of from Soap Queen. That's right. And I've tweaked it a little bit because I feel like that's what makes it my own is by just kind of adding a few little star touches. But on the whole, it is pretty much following Soap Queen's emulsified sugar scrub recipe. So if you're looking for this recipe and you think, oh my gosh, those look gorgeous, I want to make them, please go check out Soap Queen TV here on YouTube and look up her emulsified sugar scrub tutorial because she includes her recipe. That's where I got it from and that's where I sort of tweaked it just to make it how I like it. <laughs> so what you've just seen me do is you've just seen me add my soapy water, just a little bit of liquid soap into distilled water, into my oils and emulsified wax. Now this is kind of the same process you would take if you were making a moisturizer or a lotion, an emulsified lotion, except for the soap. You wouldn't add any soapy water if you were making a lotion. I'm adding the soapy water because this is going to be a shower scrub. And what we want is not so much a bubble, but more for the sugar. When you take it and rub it on your body and then rinse it under the hot shower, for it to sort of turn almost into a lotion and rinse clean, leaving you feeling nice and moisturized with your skin feeling all nice and renewed. So I'm popping the stick blender back in because I don't feel like my concoction is thick enough. And part of the reason why it isn't thick right now, I've realised as an afterthought, is because I heated both the oils and the water to the same temperature, which is very important when you're making moisturiser because you need to pour, 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 and you need it to stay thin so you can pour all of it into all of your containers. But in this case, I could have soaked with my waters a little bit cooler. That would have caused this jug of goodness to be thicker and then I could have gone ahead straight away and added it into the sugars. But I'm not patient and I can't be bothered fluffing around trying to make it thicker so I'm just going to start adding my fragrances now and my essential oils. So I'm using a fragrance called Saigon that came from Natural Candle Supply and that smells very true to real lemongrass. I'm also using a lemon zest fragrance that came from Zen Designs and has a nice smell, not too bitter lemon, quite sort of sweet lemon, and that's a bit more of just a lemon going in, and then I'm also going to be adding some lemongrass essential oil that was given to me by the wonderful, beautiful Melissa Stanford from Lucky Seven Soaps when she sent me a parcel last. So I'll leave a link to that video below, that treats and tat episode where she sent me some groovy stuff and I sent her some groovy stuff too. And um, I really love that lemongrass essential oil. It's very strong and you don't need a lot of it. So what I'm doing is I'm just like when I make bubble bars, I'm adding my fragrance into my dry ingredients. I feel like this is a way to go because you don't want to overdo it with your wet ingredients later. And even though my jug isn't thickening up to my happiness, I'm just going to go ahead and dump it in and you'll sort of see what happens. Because of the lotion side of things, here comes the stick blender again, I'm still trying to get it thick. Because of that being so thin, it does tend to sh just mix up my ratio a little bit. So what would normally have been the perfect amount of sugar to my emulsified stuff wouldn't would work this time and you'll see when I try to pour it in it just doesn't want to come together so I end up having to add a little bit more sugar to it just until I reach the right consistency.
So that looks good. That's the consistency that I was looking for and I'm really happy with that. And because it's been a while since I made sugar scrubs, I forgot about my ingenious way of filling up my little pots. So the first two pots that I try to fill, I'm just using the spatula and I just take some of the product out of the jug and I just scoop it into the little container. But it doesn't work very well for me and you, as you can see it looks a bit messy, it's hard to fill it up. And then all of a sudden I remembered, that's right, the piping bag. So I've seen a lot of people pipe their moisturizers and things into little jugs and I mean into little containers or pots or whatever, you know what I mean. And while it looks beautiful, I often think it's a bit impractical because you're just going to screw a lid on it. So I often just didn't even bother trying that. I thought it was a silly technique. But as you can see, in this application, without any fancy piping tip, it's not about making it look good, it's just about ease of entry <laughs> it's about easily filling up my containers and you can see all i have to do is just pipe round and round like i was as if i was doing a cupcake and it fills from the bottom all the way to the top and it actually looks nice it looks smoother as well so a little pipe on top of these ones so that's like a little trick for you guys if you're ever making moisturizer or scrub anything like that that you're trying to put into a bunch of little containers then the piping bag can often be your friend and it's much less expensive than buying one of those jolly cumbersome filling machines although if you're working on a grand enough scale to justify it then you go girl or boy <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to fill up all my containers with the delicious sugar scrub. It smells so zesty, it's great for waking you up in the morning, it's scrubby but not too scrubby so it doesn't leave you feeling, you know, all raw and scratched, it actually leaves you just feeling a little bit buffed and quite nice. So I'm just spraying some rubbing alcohol on my containers and then I actually left it. There was a bit of a 10 minute wait there while the rubbing alcohol just evaporated out. I like doing it that way rather than wiping out each container with a cloth. And now I can finish filling up my containers. touch is just to add an organza bag and of course a business card that tells on the front all my details to buy more and on the back exactly what's in it and how to use it just just you never know people can have reactions and stuff well, I hope that you enjoyed watching me make this emulsified sugar scrub. I'm so grateful to Anne-Marie for sharing the recipe because this is a really popular product and I love to make it. And this week I'd like to highlight Crystal Ashworth and her beautiful table layout that she shared over on our group on Facebook called Star Soaps Family. And I would love it if you could come along and join the group and share your pictures. It totally inspires me and I could highlight you in one of my videos. Squee! Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did and you want to see more like it, please feel free to hit that subscribe button, become a member of our Star Soaps family, and feel the soapy love. Bye! And now she's hot.